My name is Maysoon Zayed, and for those of you who don't know me, I have cerebral palsy. But I don't want anyone in this audience to feel bad for me because I got 99 problems and palsy is just one. <laughs> Teachers, mothers, mentors, and guides. The extraordinary women of the Hello Sunshine Together live tour share authentic and heartfelt stories with the people who inspire them most. In Story Scouts, I'm Aysun Zayed, and I am a comedian, actress, and disability advocate. I have spent the past 17 years as a touring stand-up comic, and I love stand-up comedy because it's like the last bastion of free speech. No one censors me. In the oppression Olympics, I would win a gold medal. I'm Palestinian, I'm Muslim, I'm a woman of color, I'm disabled, and I live in New Jersey. <laughs> My mom is like the Palestinian Jackie Kennedy. She inspired confidence in me and my sisters. We were taught to be competitive. We were taught to be independent. And most of all, we were taught that failure wasn't an option. I came to the US in 1966. I was 19 and pregnant. I learned, first of all, that hard work would get you where you want to be. I was working full time and going to school. And of course, taking care of the kids, still cooking and washing and doing everything that a mother should do because I needed to prove to myself that I could take care of the house and the kids and the husband and excel in school. Mm -hmm. So when I had you and found out that you had cerebral palsy, that prompted me to go back to college mm -hmm. because that's the reason I actually wanted to make sure that I could make a living. I wanted all of you to become independent, to always persevere in following whatever career you're going to have. But I also wanted you to know that you have to be responsible for the house that you live in. Yeah, I remember from the youngest age where we always learned how to, you know, cook clean, do wash, put away clothes. And I always refer to this to people as being one of the biggest reasons that I feel like I'm successful as a disabled adult is because you didn't say, no, she can't do it because she's disabled. You forced me to excel the same way that my sisters did. I tell you my origin story. My mom looks like Julia Roberts and my dad looks like Saddam Hussein. And <laughs> The way they met is a very beautiful story. I love sharing it. They're first cousins. <laughs> and my mom calls my dad her husband. And I learned from my mother that you have to try before you say can't and find what you can excel in and put your heart and soul and energy into that. So instead of physical therapy, I went to dancing school. Where did the idea of sending me to dancing school come from? Well, you know, exercise is the best for the muscles. And when I went there, she laughed at me. She said, you want me to teach this girl to dance? She hardly can walk because it took you over four years yeah. to start walking. And of course, you stayed there, and at 16, you danced ballet yeah. on point. Yeah. And most of people in the theaters, including myself, were crying because that's the one who was never going to learn how to dance. I knew that I got a standing ovation, and I thought that I got a standing ovation because I was so good. So I had no idea that people were standing up for me because they were also inspired. And I always say that my confidence and my lack of fear as a performer comes from the fact that I was doing solos since I was eight years old. And I'm still a performer. A hundred percent comes from that. Right. My mother absolutely gave me the tools that I needed to battle in Hollywood. I learned that you don't just achieve your dreams by dreaming them, you have to hustle, and here I am. The highlight of not being on tour is the fact that I get home and I get to walk with you three miles a day. What possessed you to come over to my house and say, let's walk? We never walked before two years ago. Well, I was walking by myself, but I noticed that you have gotten sedentary. And something told me that I gotta get her out with me because it's good for her muscles to get the exercise. So it not only helped us physically because exercise is very good for you, but it also brought us together. 
and we look like the odd couple. You're always in a suit, and I'm in like full-on workout clothing, and I'm sure they're always like, what brought these two together? I think that you're the perfect example because I see too many moms out there with kids with disabilities who are like, woe is me, and you never ever did that. And I think that's something that really heavily influenced me to go out and not care what strangers thought about my life or my life choices because they weren't gonna live them, I was. Right. I stood up for your being just like your other sister. I never treated you differently because I wanted you to have the confidence that you could do whatever they can. Mm -hmm. We really never even talked about disability. No, we didn't. You never felt sorry for yourself because you have a disabled kid, and you never felt sorry for me being a disabled kid. You taught me to hold my head high, even though it was slightly to the left, and I think that's extremely inspirational. Well, thank you very much, but I'll tell you, I never saw you as disabled. And until now, I still feel that you are perfect the way you are.